Okay, so here it is. Here is Mini Ares. Mini Ares, like Techno Android's design, has two pneumatic switches. One for the weapon there, and one to fill it up. So, you've got a tube here that does nothing, so that goes to the other one, so that they both kind of contain the air in there, so when the switch goes to that side, all the air just gets contained in this tube. The other is the middle switch, which takes to this tube, which fills the gas. And then this one is the feeding tube to put air in. So if you have a look at the Lego switches, when it's on this side, it's open onto these two. When it's in the middle, it's kind of just on that middle one, so nothing really happens. If it's on that side, it's onto these two. So if I put it over to this side furthest from this one and attach my pump tube, so there we go. Now I've got a manometer on this one, so I can tell how much it's in there. But you should just be able to feel it. I do about 40 pumps, and that gets it to about 28 psi, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's well, maybe like 25. Come on, about 28. Yeah, about there. Okay. Now, if I pull the tube off now, all the air from the tank is just going to go straight back out that hole again. So what I need to do is I need to flick this switch back to the middle position. There. So it's kind of in line with that support beam behind it. And that means no air can go out of this tube. So if I let this go now, that was just the air coming out of this tube. Now, on the instructions, I've said that I like to leave this in the middle position and there's no real reason for this as long as it's not in the top position I just like to leave it in the middle position because I think one uh, when I when I first did it it was the only way I got it to work and I was so excited I just haven't changed it since uh, two uh, if it's in the top position that means it's the weapons is going to fire and you don't really want that and I couldn't remember if it was top to fire or bottom to not fire at the time so I just left it in the middle but three if it's in the middle when you're fighting, it, if you, like during a fight, if you've flipped a lot, it will go down to up, and that takes a bit of time. Whereas if you start the fight in the middle, you've only got a tiny amount of distance to go to the top, so then it fires. So I thought I'd leave it like that. So if I look at it now, if I lead, if I flick the weapon switch up, there it is, it fires. And if I bring it down, the elastic band that's tied around here and here is enough for it to fall down like that. So yeah, and then you probably should have, that was one flip, two, three, still got power in it, four, yeah, still got power in it, five, well it's a bit springy now, six, yeah, I'll still throw something over, seven, yeah, seven's looking a bit weak, hang on. Yeah, seven's not enough to get itself over. And by eight, it's kind of nothing. Yeah, there you go. That's it. So I'm going to say probably like six good flips. But being realistic, in a two or three minute fight, get six good flips. You're doing really, really well. Okay, on to the instructions. 